All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, we'll just go back to making our cryptocurrency, and we left off. We had defined our block, and we had started to define what our blockchain is going to look like, and we were going to define it as a list of dictionaries. Each dictionary is a block representing the hash, previous hash, number, data, and nuance. And I was just cleaning up our code before, and I'm just going to continue to clean it up here because it's this is still another long line of code right here. So I'm just going to clean it up so it looks better, like so. And that's much better. <laughs> so we defined what adding a block to the chain looks like. We're just appending to our list of dictionaries, the list of the dictionary, and the dictionary is our block. So now I'm going to define what mining a block mining a block looks like because if we set our difficulty to 4 we need each hash of the block we need the nuance to be a number that produces a hash with the with four zeros at the front. And that's what makes our block our blockchain a blockchain <laughs> instead of just a list of useless hash and data. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to define our previous hash and we're going to say our previous hash of the block is going to be equal to the chain minus one. So the last block in the chain and then we're going to say dot get hash. So we're going to get its last hash. But this line of code will raise an index error if there is no block previous block to this block let's say our blockchain was empty there is no previous block to find the previous hash of so what i'm going to say is i'm going to try to set up our blocks previous hash to the last block in the chain's hash but we're going to accept an index error and we're just going to pass because we already defined our block our previous hash equal to 64 zeros and it should uh, just default to that if we don't define it as the previous blocks hash. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to loop infinitely until our nuance produces a hash with four zeros at the front. So we're going to say if block dot hash and that's going to find the hash of our block and the first four characters of it. This is what that's going to do. And we're going to check if that's equal to zero times difficulty. So in this case, the first four characters of our block hash are equal to four. Where is our difficulty? Four zeros. OK, and if it is, we're going to add that block to the chain. And then we're going to break out of our loop. Um, otherwise, we're going to increment the block nuance by one. And that should be it. So now we're just going to test our code. We're going to create an instance of our blockchain by defining it like this. There we are. And then let's just make some data. So let's say we want a block that has hello in it or hello world. And we want a block that has what's up. And we want a block that says that has some data like hello. <laughs> and another block by. Okay, so we have four um, things of data we want to add to our block and let's make four separate blocks with each one of the data. The first block will have hello world, second what's up, hello and bye. So for data in database, we're just testing our code here. Um, and, and let's create a block number for each one of them too. So we're going to increment that block number by one and then we're going to blockchain dot mine and then we're going to create an instance of the block and we're going to use that data and num. Okay, so what this is going to do is we've created an instance of our blockchain. We've defined some data we've added to the chain. So here for the first time we go through, we're going to go hello world. We're going to add hello world and 
we're gonna add that as block number one. The second time we're gonna go to what's up, we're gonna add the data as what's up, and then that's gonna increment to block number two and so on. So now this should create a blockchain. And what I'm gonna do now is I could say print blockchain dot chain. But uh, this is going to be a really long chain and it's not going to be very readable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say for block in blockchain dot chain print block. OK, so let's test our code now. Difficulty is not defined. Oh, self dot difficulty. And there we are. Let's just look at what our output is and make sure it's all good. So our first block here. Okay, so our first block had a hash and of 00C1296 blah blah blah, but it did have four zeros at the front and that's what we were aiming for. So let's test it now, see if difficulty is five, run it again and see if we have five zeros at the front. It's going to take longer because it's harder to mine a block with five zeros than four zeros. Higher the difficulty, the higher the difficulty. <laughs> so let's just wait here. And hopefully it's done soon. <laughs> Fan is going crazy right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just test it with three zeros instead. I'm just going to abort that. Or a three, or difficulty of three, because this is just taking too long <laughs> to see if our, our uh, difficulty of three will work. <laughs> Oh, oh, um, oh, I know why it didn't work, because we said block hash to four. We need to say block hash to diff uh, to self dot difficulty. <laughs> That's why it didn't work before. Okay, so let's try it now. gonna take too long I'm gonna oh my gosh I'm gonna just try it with our difficulty of three there we are so you can see that we have three zeros in the front so I'm assuming it would work with with five at uh, five zeros here it has four zeros but all that matters is it has three at the beginning uh, so what we're gonna ch I'm just gonna set it back to four and we're just gonna run it again okay so there we are so here Here's our first block in the chain, this dictionary right here. It has a hash of 000, zero, zero. that's what we wanted to see. And it makes sense that the previous hash is just zeros because there is no previous block to that. It has a block number of one, which we inputted or which we told it to have when we uh, initialized that block. And it has a data of hello world, kind of cut off there. And our nuance is it took um, 11,058 hashes to get the proper block with four zeros at the front. Our next block has a hash of 003, well, that's what we wanna see, and its previous hash should be the same as the hash of this block, and it looks like it is. Our data says what's up, and our nuance is 51,000, that's good. Our next block, hash looks good, previous hash mass matches the hash of the last block. Numbers three, data is hello, that's good. And our last block looks good too. Okay, so we've successfully created a blockchain, um, a list of dictionaries, and it's fully working. So that's great. And then the next video we'll look at uh, starting to make it a cryptocurrency and implementing our data as transactions and then starting our actual web application. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.